Hello, my food service power plant friends. It's Jason Wange in Denver, Colorado with your power plant positivity tip number 22. Look for innovation everywhere. I was listening to an interview the other day with one of my friends. Her name's Kathleen Seeley. She runs Massively Human Leadership. I was in the garage doing something. I had my headphones in and she made a comment about leadership that really stopped me in my tracks. And I had to go back, rewind and listen again. She said, leadership is not a title and it is not a role. Leadership is a behavior. And right now, we are watching organizations and communities and families and individuals all trying to figure out what is the next step? What's the next evolution in who we are as an organization? What's the next step in my evolution as a person right now as I learn how to get through this new challenge in a new way? And the idea occurred to me that leadership will come from anywhere. And innovation within our organizations or in our communities or our families will come from anywhere. Years ago in our own family, when my wife had some heart challenges, there was a brief period of time where she was just sleeping on the couch in the living room. And our kids decided, you know what worked well, we decided we're gonna bring in dinner to my wife while we'll eat in the living room. And the kids decided we should bring out a board game and let's play a game while we eat dinner. And for the next two years, even though my wife became perfectly healthy to go eat at the dinner table, we stayed in the living room. And almost, probably for half the nights of those two years, we would eat dinner in the living room and be playing a board game. And it was a real moment of connection amongst us. And it came from my five-year-old. It was beautiful. And right now within organizations, you're giving people the opportunity, we're watching people rise up who maybe we didn't see a comment or we didn't expect, but who are standing up to lead and show empathy to their colleagues or their community, their friends. They're finding ways to serve in new ways. I've watched so many people serving in beautiful ways who I hadn't seen them in that capacity before. And there's an opportunity for innovation and leadership anywhere. Uh, there was a guy named Richard Montanez. He does all the flaming hot Cheetos stuff. Years ago, he started at Frito-Lay and Pepsi. He was a janitor work, working for four bucks an hour. One day, the Cheeto machine pops out some Cheetos and no cheese had been put on. So he decides he's gonna take a few of these home and he puts on some chili powder and some other spices, tastes it, and he's thinking, this is incredible. He ends up making a presentation to his boss he is today an executive at Frito-Lay at PepsiCo, and the Flaming Hot brand Cheeto was just in the late 2019, voted 30 year in a row the best snack in America. And there was a whole bunch of flaming different things. It's crunchy puffs and Cheetos and regular puffs and reduced fat puffs, all with this spicy hot experience that people get. And it came from someone that maybe no one saw it coming. So one of the things I want you to do right now, either in your work, in your community, if you're working through all the challenges as a, as a community of people, in your home nucleus, your family, I want you to ask everyone, I want you to start looking for who can innovate, who can help you solve that next challenge, create that next opportunity. Google's notorious for this. They will ask their people, they'll give them a percentage of time and they'll say, we don't want you to do your traditional work, we don't want you to do email, we don't want you to make phone calls or answer phone, you know, answer phone calls, we just want you to think, what's next for us? What is a blinder that we didn't recognize we have? What's the next opportunity or the next thing that we can create? And let that come from anywhere in your company. When you do that, by the way, you let all the people within your company or the people within your community or your family recognize that you really believe in them, that you really value them. If you ask someone that you didn't expect, someone maybe not in the front lines, say, hey, listen, I'd like you to take an hour and just think about what's next. Do you know that sense of pride creating them that you believe in them? to solve that next challenge, open it up to everyone. It will also help you and your teammates, your community, your company, your family, come together closer as you solve these challenges together. And at the end of this, one of the things certainly we all want is organizations and communities that are closer, more tight-knit, believe in one another, and have found those hidden leaders that we didn't see coming. So give people time in your organization, in your community, in your family to go innovate. Find those leaders and let them rise up amongst you. Remember, you've got this. I know we're going through a lot, but together we can certainly get through this together. Have a great day.